Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Can you see me? Well, a lot of I had the same problem as this uh, Arch Linux dude, and now I'm going to show you. And this is this is going to prompt me. This is going to enthuse me to make a an, a guide to running a VPN and container. So let's get on with it, yo. Let's get on. So. Um, I maybe I should first show you that I've got it running here actually already. Um, I've got it running right here, and I can show you it works. I'm running OpenVPN, and I'm going to just set it up for you too. I mean, I'm going to show you how to set it up from scratch, and that IP is from my VPN, and you just have to believe me, because <laughs> this is my normal IP. All right, okay, so it does work. It works well. There is a little niggly issue on shutdown, and I'll probably fix that in a bit. So so now I'm on, on my, my Nook box, which looks like... Um, can I get this over to you, sir? It looks like that. <laughs> so, right. Uh, can you see my screen? I think you can. So let's start first by creating foo, and then we pack strap it. So I've done this before. Actually, we need open VPN. We need our torrent. So yeah, you might be wondering, why do you need a VPN? So you can get around geo restrictions, crazy, crazy people who do that. I hate them. And to perhaps get some more privacy. And you know, different countries have some stupid rules of one or another. So I'm going to show you how to use uh, systemd nspawn and I'm going to do some nice little tweaks so that it actually starts on boot up too. And the idea is that when you want to use something in the VPN, you just basically log in to that container, you know, wget curl rtorrent and it all goes through that, that VPN. Okay, so it is almost ready. Um, I am um, packstriping a whole base system into this directory, this directory called foo, and, and I'm going to call the machine foo too. I think it's a little bit conf confusing calling it VPN. And yeah, okay, it's ready. It's ready. So there's a few things you need to unfortunately do you need to secure ETT right oh, oh, no it's not that one uh, you need to disable um, you need to disable secure TTY thing otherwise you can't log in very easily yeah yeah yeah, yeah. let's take that one out take that one out um, Okay, uh, what else do we need to do? That's it, I think. Then we move it into Violet Machines. And then we can start it like that. Yeah. Does it work? Yes, it works. Now we need to log into it. Uh, machine CTL login uh, foo. And now we're in. Yeah, do we have internet? No, we don't. Hmm. Have to set up system D, network D. Yeah, oh dear. That's not that. Um, now I have to look at my own one. I can never remember this. System D, network D. Okay, we're gonna make one of these guys. And we're gonna just copy that. Yeah. Oh dear. Restart. System CTL, restart. System D, network D. Ping 888. Hmm. It's not working. Why is it not working? Let's see what my system D thing here is. 
That looks right. Yeah, so this is the virtual ethernet here. That looks fine. What's wrong with this thing? I'm in foo, I'm in nook. I'm in foo. Ping 10, zero, zero, 001. That works. Ping 8888. That doesn't work. IP forwarding? Yeah, there's, there's some bugs when it comes to IP forwarding. Maybe. IP masquerade. Let's see what I have in mine. System D network. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's try that little magic thing. Okay, something to do with forwarding. Okay, now we got that working. Now what next? No, well, now what next? Uh, now we need to. Uh, let's make sure system CTL enable system D network is is on. Let's make make sure that starts up. Let me then set up uh, open open VPN. Hi. So I need to put things in there. I think I have my open VPN settings here. Yes. So if I go sudo copy all this junk into var lib machines, foo, uh, etc open VPN. That should just work, shouldn't it? Yes. And then I do something like, well, how do I have to do it here? Sorry. I want to get you a big, a big one. Root system CTL grip uh, VPN. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that. It's like that and this and a. Oh, I think it actually wants it in a strange format. <laughs> Pacman QL grep open VPN grep service. Oh dear. Reminder to self. Yeah, once in a conf. Hope you got hope you're managing to follow here. So I'm also just gonna install minimal token not found is it not minimal ew just to set up resolve.conf just set that up as name server equals to the google one 8.8.8 .8 hmm what is it can never remember is it not vim minimal Pac-Man runs SS. So I'm trying, to, I'm trying to install an editor that I'm familiar with. Okay. Vi oh, I've, I've done it. Boo boo. I've not said the right thing. Minimal. Made a typo. Okay. Um, so... Now we need to, oh, where am I? I'm in, okay, I'm in the container, I'm in the container. Oh yeah, I did Did I tell you there's some very cool commands here? Machine CTL, you, this is where you sort of uh, administer it. You can even remove it. You can do cool things. You can even get a Docker image and spin it up that way. Maybe I'll make a, make a Docker image of this, perhaps. Okay, now we need to go system CTL, start, um, open VPN at my something like that I'm not sure if my VPN provider allows a couple of connections
Okay, well, yeah, that's my VPN connection. So what do I do? I basically run our torrent in here and I'm, 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 I'm away. Uh, oop, our torrent. Sorry, I'm making lots of typos here. So if I go to archlinux.org or whatever, and then I download that magnet link, I should be able to torrent through a VPN. How awesome is that? It's working. It's working. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. And then if I want to get uh, onto that thing, I, I go violet machines foo into the root. But unfortunately, System D keeps on messing around or correcting the permissions. So I'm not too sure about that. Um, okay, now the cool thing about this is to make it always around. So how do we do that? We okay. We we enable this, and what else? We we started it there. Let's also enable this. So with any luck, if I reboot this, it's gonna work. It's going to work. You will work. IP masquerade. Am I missing something? I think I'm missing something like IP forward or something. Yes. I am missing that from this probably. But it goes under network. Network. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's just reboot. So, what's going to happen on reboot? Hopefully, um, forwarding will be set up. Hopefully, it will start the machine, the container. Uh, foo, and inside foo, it should hopefully start uh, OpenVPN. Yeah, all that good stuff. And then you'll have a similar setup to do what I do, to use a VPN. Just have it always. Just have it running. Just so I can use it whenever I want. Um, oh, it's up. Okay, machine CTL. Uh oh, it's not there. Hello, why aren't you there? Does it, does it just boot up. Yeah. System CTL grip uh, foo. Did I enable it? Enable, that means... It's there. That's bone. Okay, let me just have a quick look at this. Grip and spawn. Ah, I'm not starting the machine target. Enable machine dot target. I had this problem before. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. So yeah, you need to enable the machine's target and then it should be able to start. Okay, we're in system no, machine CTL, and it's there. And then I can go uh, login, foo. Then I go root. Then I go curl. And I'm on my VPN. I really hope you found that useful. Um, let me just log out and control. Duh, duh, duh.
and then I go curl, curl, just to prove that my host IP is different, you know, it's, it makes a lot of sense to have a thing in a container because the normal internet is usually so much faster. Okay, I hope you found that guide useful. Enjoy your VPN. Surf safely.